Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to the channel. That channel is Dub Chanel's 48's World. And we're just going to do a quick video because I don't know why the money is getting to these celebrity reality stars. Okay, that's what they call them. I call them people. <laughs> but we're going to be talking about two people from the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Yes, bringing you all the drama field and with my spin on it. Okay, my opinions. Well, y'all know I've been telling y'all some time ago when I first heard it that Miss Sanya, yes, Miss Sanya Richards Ross is getting her feel on how it feels like or how it feels to be a part of the Real Housewives of Atlanta franchise and having your business thrown in them streets, okay? And Candy Burris is part of that. She going on TV taping farting while her hairdresser is getting her together her makeup artist she gonna fall it and then tell the lady to excuse her i'm like girl candy girl i know you getting older and i know you don't care but don't have me have to call your mama on your behind because that was just pure unsanitary and nasty as hell for you to fart okay fart you could say oh let me get up for a minute go around the corner blow the air out that way Meaning farts, thinking miss smell that you probably that one probably had her mouth open when you let out your wind. Girl, you know that ain't right. You know that ain't right. Only babies can get away with that and senior citizens. The rest of us have to toe the line, go somewhere in a corner by ourselves, spread the love out with the phone, and then come back. Okay, we don't do that. But that ain't the piss the resistance that I'm talking about. Candy set up there, fought it on TV, because you know I'm going to keep saying it, because that was just not necessary. I ain't going to apologize for it. No, Candy, we didn't want you to fall. I know gas is better out than in, but come on, girl. Come on. <sighs> Candy's over there talking about the new woman. Now, we know why, and we give her a pass on why she didn't like the two girls, meaning Tamika and and shoot i forgot the scott sisters who they are the two on the right hand side all right again the two on the right hand side those are the scott sisters um i remember tamika but i can't remember the other one to save my life while i'm doing this video but um you know they lied on candy back in the day or candy said they lied or whatever either or she did not really like what they had said about her meaning the one on the right had said that she slept with jermaine dupree's uh dad allegedly and you know it just she didn't like it she didn't like cats so don't lie on them don't lie don't mess with her money don't mess with her man or her family okay those are her rules but i'm like girl did todd teach you how to forward say it's okay to forward did he teach you that girl because Karen, you're just getting too old. I mean, you're trying to be a madam or a madam out there in that burlesque world. Hell, you ought to go jump in with, um, what's her name? Jocelyn Hernandez. I'm sure she could teach you something coming from her cabaret. But, honey, don't have me, don't let me have to call Mama Joyce on you, girl. Sitting up there talking about you don't like or you feel that, um, can't, I mean, Sanya, Rich, Richards Ross, it's not likable. You you said, <laughs> okay, that she's not a nice person. Or she ain't nice. You would have picked the opinion that she was, I guess, until you found out something different. But yeah, Candy. That's right, Mama George. We might have to get you to get on Candy's behind. She already throwing salt on a new peach holder. Girl, and I'm like, I can understand you not liking Portia. Okay. Through all the infractions that Phaedra had put out there on you. That wasn't true. You know, allegedly. But then you turned that concept into a money-making uh, scheme. And you went out there and called yourself on the dungeon tour. You and your husband. Okay, y'all made money off that thing that you said could have destroyed your career. Because this woman right there put it out there. Okay, and it wasn't true. So I'm like, okay, Portia get a pass because Portia got a hole in her head, okay? Ain't no juices up there flowing, ain't no connection or sparks going up there in them atoms in her brain cells. But, you know, hey, I don't know what Candace hating on Sanya. Yeah, Sanya right there. Mm -hmm. 
that was being taped and they were showing an episode i guess the first episode they're gonna show us her and her husband was having a discussion and of course you know he was bitching about what she ain't doing what she could do she ain't supporting him like i'm like give me a break don't let me have to tell tina on your behind candy okay because candy and Mama Joyce are the only two people that I've known since watching the show. Who is that, Sean? Mom. Mom, you need to get up take a oh, yeah. Doing all that hollering. Shut up, you hear grandma. I'm sorry about that, y'all. My mom was sitting, she's 83 years old, and she was in a deep sleep. And I guess having a time with uh, a nightmare she was having. So I had to go check on her down the hall. Yes, that's why I had to get up, Ty, uh, Cat. I had to get up and go see what's wrong with my mom. Okay, but Lord, lift us up where we belong, honey. Candy is doing too much once again. Again, like I said before, I was interrupted with a hollow scream. <sighs> Candy saying <laughs> Richards, Ross, Sanya. It's not having it. She ain't nice. She ain't nice at all. I said, well, Candy, what is it? Are you nice? No. You ain't nice to them Scott sisters. The ones that can blow can sing. I mean, and hold a tune. They can sing a cappella. Meaning no music have to be paying. Uh, Whitney. Whitney even put her two cents in that them sisters could sing. Okay? And like Aretha said, you better think, girl. You better think. R-E-S-P-E-C-T. You better think about messing with Sanya. She come on down, honey. She a, what is it, Olympian? Gold medalist, I think she was. Well, hell, maybe it was bronze. I don't know. I'm going to have to pass on that one too, Aretha, because I ain't get all her credentials. But I know she's a Olympian winner running around here, which I understand why she want to be on this Ratchet TV show. Maybe the funds are drying up. Cause that seems like what makes people go and do ungodly things and get a part of ungodly shows and you know just not putting you or positioning you in a real good light but they're doing it for the money they're chasing that money money gonna get them at the end i'm telling you the child i'm like Kermit the Fro frog trying to explain something to miss piggy what is going on with candy candy why you don't like this lady why you don't like this lady why are you throwing salt on her name before she even appears to be gracing our TV screens? That woman ain't did nothing to you, but tried to come on the show and give it a little flavor. And uh, I did hear somebody, uh, I saw uh, Aaron, House of Aaron, if y'all know. I shouted him out pretty uh, a couple of times over here. Go check him out. He was saying on his uh, video um, that... Candy evidently had met her and didn't too much care for her because she thought she was one way. But she is saying it in a negative way that the lady just mean, you know. She is uh, not nice, not a nice person. So when a person say when somebody ain't nice, you think they're mean or it's something negative to them. But I'm like, Candy, Candy girl. Ooh, my background singer girl, my doo wop doo wop girl, my producer, my bone collector for the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Okay, the, what are you, I guess you want to be called a madam because you're selling them sex toys over there. Got sex talk, candy coated, nice going on and child, I guess you could write a book or do a video on something erotic. You know, I'm dealing with male and female because we know you go both ways because you admitted it. But, child, why you mad at Sanya? Why you mad at Sanya? She ain't did nothing to you under the sun. But you already throwing dirt on her name. You're saying she's not a nice person. And you saw it on television. I mean, what she got that you need, Candy, or you desire? I mean, can't you just say she's nice and then let us see? What's going on as we progress with watching the show so we can get our own opinions? Girl, you just coming out the gate just saying, okay, she's mean. She's not what I thought she was. I'm like, girl, 
you sound like you're crazy, Candy. You're crazy. I mean, it, because she's older than you, maybe. Does she have a bigger house than you? Does she drive a nicer car than you? Why are you hating on this lady? Because I, I, I didn't know nothing about them until they called itself searching the highways and the byways of Atlanta in search for a new cast member or cast members. And they just ran up on her. She ain't no stranger to the reality world. She had her own little show, okay, starring her and her family. So if that's what's bothering you, Candy, she has a little credit on her name for not being new to the reality game. Girl, and what's going on? You got gas. You need to stop drinking milk, honey. Are you lactose intolerant? Because we don't need you to be fun. We don't need. We need you to be cool, classy, and you can be trashy after nine or ten, and go on and do all that thing. But, girl, don't let us get Mama Joyce on you. We don't want to hear Candy. We want you to do what we paid you to do, which I'm still trying to figure that out. Other than being a bone collector. But, uh, you can somebody compare her to being Cynthia. Oh, uh, I think Aaron, how to Aaron was saying that, uh, well, his people in his uh comment section was saying that, uh, well, no, Aaron probably was saying it too that she's gonna be meaning Samuel Rich, Richards Ross. She's supposed to be the diplomatic one, she's supposed to be the more compass of the group now. Uh, she's supposed to be. The level-headed one to kind of keep people together in peacefulness and not, um, you know, out of harmony with it. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, no, nah, we don't need to. We had Cynthia for that. And the other people that want to come and do the woo-saw and the kum kumbaya. No, we wanted nothing but ratchetness. That's what we, we signed up for. That's what we want. Okay? We don't want to see anybody being diplomatic and trying to stop the other person from fighting physically or just verbally oh well, no we don't want that we want people to be on on whatever cue card they want to read off of if it's giving us some sesh sensationalness for ratchetness that's what we need we don't need her to be meaning sanya we don't need her to be a toss over or, or, or woman in the wind don't know if you're bending to the right or to the left we need somebody with some consistency. And we don't need them to be nice. No, no, no. We don't need them to be nice all the time. You know, somebody, everybody has their breaking point. So everybody's not nice every time you see them. If it is, it's a facade. They may not be showing you, but they might be cussing somebody else behind them. Wow, you know what I'm saying? But like I say, only Miss Tamika Harris, Tiny Cotel, before she married T.I., she don't be taking no shit off Candy. She be like, girl, they had this show going on at one time. And Candy, you know, was complaining the whole time. Everybody. And then mom was probably doing a YouTube video about how Candy was acting on that show. When they were trying to get the Scott sisters. It was no Lord lift us where we belong. And them titties read. No, it wasn't that, girl. Shy Candy. Just like, I ain't finna get these Scott sisters no shine. They done embarrassed me. They talked about me. And now I'm on this platform. I don't want them here. And then, you know, like I said, they got a little spin on Candy. I mean, Tamika got in Candy ass. She said, look, either you want to be here or you don't. Either you want to be a part of the group or you don't. I'm sick of your attitude and your higher um, moralist compass. You got to go, oh, child, time to attain it to her ass. I'm like, oh, yeah. Candy can get cussed out by Tamika Tiny Harris all day for me, all day. But like I said, she got the respect uh, to Mika because they still were friends. After um, Tamika had to give her that realization like, baby, your shit stinks just like everybody else. You just probably clean yours a little better. Woo! Girl, did I say a word? Did I say a word, people? But y'all yeah, just had to come by, swing by these doors, open it up for my family to come through them and sit and talk with me. Be in my presence while I'm talking about why Candy sitting up here Throwing salt negativity on a person she don't even know. Don't even know that girl from a can of paint that needs to be on her walls. Okay. Woo. But anyway. That's all I have for this video guys. Like and love it. Gotta have more. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification button. But, blah, hit that notification bell button. 
so you'll know when I drop my videos, okay? So you can come over and partake and get in that comment section if you like or you don't have to. You can just view the video, give me that like, okay, and share my video, okay? That's all I'm asking. That's all I'm asking. It don't cost you anything. Share my stuff. Share my share girl stuff. Share it, okay? But that's all I had, guys. I will see y'all next video. Bye-bye.